Now we will talk about another way to type the antibodies. Antibodies can be classified as ideotypes, allotypes and isotypes. Another way to classify antibodies is allotypes, allotypes, isotypes and ideo types. Now listen, let's suppose here you are, and from your circulatory system, we remove all the antibodies, we remove all the immunoglobulin. Now all the antibodies which we can bring out from one person, they have something common, right? Because antibodies are what? Antibodies are just peptide chains. These are four peptide chains, two heavy chains and two light chains held together by disulfide bond. Is that right? And antibodies, because they are protein, so they are antigenic. For example, if your antibodies are injected into a donkey, suppose this is a donkey, I don't know how to draw a donkey, but you can imagine it. This is a donkey. Right? And if human antibodies, suppose antibodies from this person are injected into donkey, these are the antibodies, when antibodies will come, do you think for donkey these antibodies are self protein or foreign protein? It depends on the person actually. <laughs> right? Human antibodies for the donkey are foreign proteins. So donkey's immune system will take these human antibodies as antigens and donkey's immune system will produce antibodies against human antibodies. You are getting it? So it means human antibodies are antigen because they are proteins, they have antigenic areas or we call them they have antigenic determinants. Is that right? Now actually they found that all the antibodies which are present detect uh, removed from one person all the antibodies which are present in one person they are having something common for example some amino acid sequence here in the light chain and some amino acid sequence let's suppose here this amino acid sequence is present in all the antibodies of this person right so according to this concept that this person has inherited a special type of alleles and those special inherited alleles, all the antibodies from this person have some amino acid sequences which are common, right? And according to these amino acid sequences, antibodies vary from person to person. For example, in my case, in my all antibodies, suppose here is histidine and here is leucine. Maybe in your case, at this point, there is histidine and threonine. So my all antibodies have histidine and leucine and your all antibodies have suppose histidine and threonine. So it means all my antibodies have same antigenic determinant here and all your antibodies have a different antigenic determinant here. But for your antibodies, all of them will have the same antigenic determinant. So this, if we classify human antibodies according to this antigenic determinant, we say we are doing allotyping. So I have one allotype and you have one allotype. So all the antibodies which are present in one person, they that, that is determining its one allotype. Is that right? Opposite to that, isotype means the differences in antibodies in the same person due to heavy chains. You know the constant of the heavy chain. These are the constant region of heavy chain. How many different types of heavy chain one person is making mainly? Five types. Because they, these are the five basic classes. So we can say if we bring all his antibodies out and try to classify his antibody, 
according to constant of the heavy chains, how many will be main group? Five. So if donkey is going to make antibodies, again donkey is going to make antibodies against the constants of the heavy chains, how many types of antibodies you will make? Five types. Is that right? So this when you classify antibodies in a person according to the constants of the heavy chain, they are divided into five groups and those groups are called isotypes. What are they called? Isotypes. So I have how many types of isotypes? Five. And you have how many types of isotypes? Five. And my isotype and your isotypes are same. This is very important. You have IgG, IgM, IgD, IgE, IgA. I have also same groups. Is that right? But donkey does not have the same group. So donkey will make anti-isotype antibody. When you put my, body, my antibodies into a donkey, donkey will make how many types of anti-isotype antibodies? Five. But donkey will make how many? Donkey will make how many types of anti-allotype? One. I have only one allotype. So if you inject my antibodies into a donkey, the donkey will make how many anti-allotypes? One. Donkey will make how many anti-isotypes? Five. So one person has how many isotypes? Five. Or one person antibodies, when they are classified according to allotyping, in one person how many allotypes are present? One. If one person's all antibodies are classified according to the isotypes, how many groups are there? Five. Thank God you know it. Now ideotype. Ideo means unique. Ideo means unique. Actually, if I have been exposed to thousands and thousands of many different virus and bacteria, then it means I have made thousands and thousands of different type of antibodies with specificity for different antigens. Is that right? And why now one antigen is, let's suppose, one antibody, you know, every antibody has different, uh, there's a special variable areas here, variable area of the heavy chain and variable area of the light chain so that this antibody molecule must bind with a specific antigen. Now tell me one thing. In one person, if you try to classify, if you try to classify all my antibodies according to the, these variable regions, how many antibodies groups I will have? Millions. Right? This is say that every, all the antibodies which are derived from, which are made by one clone of B cells, they have the same variable region. But actually, uh, every person has capacity to make millions of different antibodies directed against different antigens. So it means in every group of ant every antibody, these variable regions are so unique that every antibody will bind with a unique antigen or to be more clear all the antibodies which are derived from one clone of one clone of B cell they are directed against a unique antigen and all those antibodies will have a unique amino acid sequence here is that right now if you remove my all antibodies and inject into donkey and if donkey is going to make antibodies against variable regions of my antibodies. He will make millions of different type of antibodies. We say that he is making anti-idiotypes. Idiotypes. So what is idiotyping? Idiotyping is the typing of the typing of the antibodies according to their variable regions. Isotyping is the typing of the antibodies according to the constant of the heavy chain. Allotype is typing of the antibodies from person to person. Right? So, because my every antibody which is directed against different antigen has a different type of ideotype. So, what are ideotypes? Ideotypes are the antigenic determinants made by the amino acid sequence in variable region. Let me repeat it. It's worth repeating. What is ideotype? Ideotype is the antigenic determinant present made by the amino acid sequence 
present in variable part of the antibodies and one person may have millions of ideotypes then isotype what is isotype isotypes are antigenic determinant in the antibodies of a person uh, which depends on the amino acid sequence in constant of the heavy chain is that right and allotype is the antigenic determinant present in a person's antibody according to the allelic morphology right again amino acid so I can say that all my antibodies will have one point unique which is unique to my all antibodies right so as far as this is allotype so how many allotypes I must have one how many isotypes I must have five how many ideotypes I must have millions is that right so when we say that there is anti ideotype antibody it means that antibody will react here for example if donkey make anti ideotype that will react here if donkey make anti isotype that will react here if donkey make anti allotype that will react here is that right any question right plasticness